This first one is from Talentless. It's Scott Disick's brand and it's cool. It, it feels like really good quality. The fit is a little on the tight side. It's a little too long for me as well, but the material feels solid. It's, it's kind of heavy. The fit in the neck is nice and structured. The sleeves are a good length. I would give this one an eight out of 10. I'll probably end up ordering more. I also tried out the Talentless hoodie, which is also really good quality, feels heavy. It's a little tight and like not super stretchy. So I feel a little claustrophobic putting it on, taking it off, but I'd probably buy it again. I would just go with an XL. I'd probably size up in the hoodie. Cuts clothing, I think I got these a couple of years ago for Christmas and they're good. They're a little on the expensive side. The fit is okay for me. It kind of highlights my man boobs. They're like a little bit tighter than I usually like. They're also very long with a split hem. The color is the thin kind and it kind of droops, making me feel like a small child that sucks on his collars. The fabric kind of balls up after a few washes, so I wouldn't say they're super durable. Also, the sizing is a little bit weird. I got two larges and one fits pretty normal and the other fits extremely tight. One of my friends had the same experience and I think he ended up returning one of them because it was just too tight. The next one is Everlane and Everlane is actually a pretty cool brand. I have one of their button downs, like the Japanese Oxford button down. It's a really cool like deep blue color and super high quality, no signs of wear. I really like it. The t-shirt is just okay. The quality feels pretty basic. It's a little flowy in the midsection. The sleeves are a little shorter than I usually like. It's not my favorite, but I actually find myself wearing it pretty often. This next one is a collaboration that the Utah Jazz did with Warren Lotus, who's like a fashion designer. I threw it in here because I'm pretty sure the shirt that they're using is a Los Angeles apparel shirt. I've tried Los Angeles apparel shirts before and the collar tends to be like a little tight. You can see how high it goes up. The sleeves are a little wider than I would like and they go lower than I would like. It's a pretty boxy fitting shirt, but the design on this one is cool and I've seen pictures of guys in this Los Angeles apparel t-shirt and the collar doesn't look as high. So maybe after a few washes, it kind of settles down. It kind of comes up off of your neck, but the quality seems really good. There's actually another brand that I've seen on Instagram. I, my wife ordered me a couple shirts from there. It's like a Jackson Hole um, Diamond Cross is what it's called. And I'm pretty sure they use this the same t-shirt, which is this Los Angeles apparel company. And it was the same thing. Collar was very high. The sleeves were a little too loose and too long. So I ended up returning them, but the artwork is freaking cool on them. So I might actually end up more ordering more in the future. Buck Mason. This is a white slub t-shirt and it's a little bit too see-through for me. The quality seems pretty good. The fit is okay. It's kind of flowy uh, in the midsection. Fit is pretty good. I, I actually do want to try different colors from Buck Mason. I went to their store in Abbott Kinney and was pretty impressed with like the quality of the things that I saw and even tried a couple of the sweaters and stuff on. So I'll probably end up giving Buck Mason another try. For all you MFers out there using one ply toilet paper, balling on a budget, next level. You get them on Amazon, but they're kind of the go-to event shirt. If you ever have like a, a work event or some kind of event you go to, they'll give you a next level shirt. It's like the blank t-shirts that people print on. The fit is actually pretty good. The color doesn't stretch out. It kind of stays in a good spot. It's tight on the arms. This is the suede version, so it's between you know seven and eleven dollars, but not bad if you're looking for a really cheap t-shirt. The next is built, and I actually really like these shirts. They have like a unique material. It feels like really good quality. They're pretty long. I'm all about a long t-shirt if it's also wide, like that big t-shirt with like short shorts look is pretty cool. But when it's long and really tight, nah man, I'm out. You look like Skinny Pete or something with his. Uh, it looks like a wife beater. It's terrible. Plus I've got kind of a big booty, so it, it all bunches, it's bad. It looks it looks really dumb. But I just got one of these in navy and an XL and it's wide, it fits really good. I, I actually really like it. With the built t-shirts, the sizing is also a little bit weird. This red one is pretty big, it's a large. The collar is a little bit thin, but it does stay up pretty high. It's not sagging a whole lot. Overall, I do really like these. I've bought multiple in a lot of different colors and I'll probably end up buying more. I'm just gonna size up, go with the XL so it's a little bit wider. Next on the list is Viore, and I should say I love the Viore sweatpants. I'll do a little B-roll right here, check them out, they're sick. They are so comfortable, the, the fabric is incredibly soft. I think the fit is perfect. It's got kind of the drop crotch, so it's just amazing, like they're the perfect pants. They do get a little bit like worn out in the on the seams, um, but I try, I had their sweatpants first. These are the Sunday performance, I think sweatpants. And then I tried their t-shirt and the t-shirt kind of let me down a little bit. It's super soft, incredibly comfortable, but it's like always staticky. It's one of those shirts that like, it's always staticky, always kind of sucks to my body and shows off my man boobs. The collar sags down and kind of gets wrinkly. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of their shirts. Maybe I need to try some of the other materials, but sweatpants, awesome. Get the sweatpants, not the t-shirts. These next ones are kind of in a different category. It's definitely not a t-shirt. I thought I'd throw them in there because they are an online brand and I love these shirts. These are the, like my favorite workout shirts I've ever used and they're from Gymshark. I feel like typically they're more of the budget workout clothes, but 
these shirts are some of the best quality long sleeve workout shirts I've ever had. I've tried Lululemon, I've tried Nike, I've tried all of them. And these ones just maintain the shape. I'm a stickler on the collar and the collar is always amazing. I haven't seen any fraying on any of the seams on any, anything on the inside. These are the seamless long sleeve shirts. And I actually size up. I don't like a super tight fitting shirt for the gym. So I size up to an XL and I've had these for a couple of years and they're awesome. Like in perfect condition, no signs of wear and they're great. So Gymshark shirts, check them out. And, um, and to finish it off, I figured I'd throw in my current favorite shirt. I've bought this in every color. I wear it pretty much every day. It's actually this shirt. It's the Xanero box t-shirt. And I buy them in medium and larges. They fit pretty big. So a large is like, you know, it is like an oversized fitting tee, but they're great. Like the quality is so good. The fit is perfect for me, at least. They feel, they feel like super high quality. There's no sign of wear on any of them. They even have like a nice little stitching on the sleeves and on the hem. So yeah, Xanero box t-shirt, uh, currently my favorite. If you know of any great t-shirts, please comment below. Love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.